Hello, welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Great Holiday Home Show in Harrogate and I am going to be taking a closer look at this. It's the Adria Adora Isonzo, a caravan I know all too well in 2018. I bought the 2018 model and I absolutely loved it. So this is the 2024. We're going to get in there, have a look and find out what has changed compared to the model that I had. So let's get cracked on. First of all, the thing that's changed, the price. So uh, the price is now £34,275. The Isonzo, it is a huge caravan, but absolutely beautiful. It's eight feet wide, it's eight metres and 27 centimetres long. And weight-wise, it has gone up in weight. The uh, MTPLM is 1,850 kilos, although you can up plate to 1,900 kilos. So payload, the payload has now increased. So a, a basic MTPLM is going to give you a payload of 175 kilos. But if you up plate to 1,900, it's going to give you 225 kilos. So that is a really good payload. And to be fair if your tow car will take 1900 then I'd be up plating myself to give you that extra 50 kilos of payload right let's carry on so the Isonzo is on the Alco chassis it is a single axle van despite it being so long at just under 8.3 meters it is still on the single axle and these tow so well take my word for it so the front, we've got this new front that Adria brought in a few years ago. Big front locker, you'll get two 11 kilo gas bottles under there. And then we've got the new wind diffuser uh, front. This was uh, an innovation again a couple of years ago when they changed the style. Front windows, we've still got these three big front windows and the sunroof. We'll see the benefit of that when we go in. Uh, in the storage locker, we do have the uh, storage crates as well. Let's venture down the near side. So first of all, we're going to get an external gas point, as we can see there. We've got our locker box. As far as I know, the electric hookup will still be in there as well. Coming down the near side, we've got our two-piece stable door. And we have our awning light up there. And we also, just up there, if we can see, we've got the aerial. We get alloy wheels. Those are 15-inch alloys, standard uh, on the Isonzo. And then there's a huge locker box there, that's storage under the bed, um, a huge uh, opening there to slide your chairs and things and table. The rear of the Isonzo, so this is the new rear, and not only has it got the silver sides and silver decals, we've also got a big silver back end. We've got a high level brake light there, we've got those beautiful LED lights, and then Adria Adora Isonzo. Right. I'll walk us round the other side. I won't try and clamber over that other A-frame. I'll probably end up on my face or something. So we'll have a wander round. Um, but the new Isonzo, it's really modern. It stands out from the competition. And at this price, although this is mid-range Adria, it's probably higher spec for most other manufacturers, to be honest. Right, let's carry on down the off side. So on the off side, so here we've got our, let's open this on the Truma, our water point there where you're going to connect your water for water flow into the caravan. We've got another locker box there. That one, as far as I know, the battery used to be on the other side. If not, it's going to be in that one along with your electric hookup. So if not, it's going to be in there. Coming down on the off side, we've got our vents for the tower fridge freezer. We'll have a look inside. I'm presuming that's still going to be the Thetford one. And then we've got the toilet cassette and flush point at the back. Right, that's the exterior. Let's go inside and take a look at the layout inside, making my way around in a dainty fashion. So £34,000, what are we getting in here? Let's have a look. So as we go in, we have got the large lounge. Now this is an eight foot wide caravan and you do have this good size U-shaped wrap around. They don't have a front locker or chest, but you do get a flap. I'll just come forward so this little flap it, fl it flips up and you can put cups of tea and sandwiches and what have you on there as we move around you can see you have got some armrests and the design with these cushions here is the sort of like make into a triangle shape so you can use them as a headrest so you do get those as standard we get fly screens and blinds curtains they're almost um a very i don't know almost like a purple or lilac colour, very pale colour. We've got some little storage baskets there and then 
let's have a look here so we've got our um overhead lockers these still have the wood finish on them that we uh i think my 2018 had those i'll move around i've got further storage there and then coming down into this lounge area again just so you can see the amount of floor space and what you're getting i think there is a plug socket as well just behind that cushion there right let's turn around so looking down into the isonzo first of all the floor space loads of floor space good use of the um, eight foot wide now on the near side as you come in we can see a bracket here for the television the aerial point and there's the usb and plug socket just there coming up we've got the control system now this caravan it does have the alder wet central heating the hot water and we've got the adria control panel there coming down we have a little storage cupboard here this is where we're going to find the table i think for the uh yeah the table still in there for the lounge so that's where you're going to find that and then we'll move over onto the off side of the isonzo and here's the kitchen i'll just move the draining board just so we can see the worktop a little better so they still adrius have still not put a flap there all the owners um that everybody said please put a you know, worktop extension on they still haven't done it which is disappointing because i don't think that would cost you much and it would have been really nice to see that and that you'd listen to owners but no unfortunately still nothing there but we've got this worktop space we've got the three gas burners from dometic you won't get electric on the adrias with it being a european manufacturer we've got our sink and sink cover not a bad size sink and we've got the swivel tap and then we've got a little basket there for storage again i'm still not convinced with these baskets that they introduced we've got blinds and fly screens all around here that we can see we've got a plug socket under there and i think we've got a plug socket under there as well above we've got lockers now the microwave yeah i was gonna say the microwave used to be in here the microwave's still here in this cupboard then there's a little bit of space there let's have a look in this next one this was where the plates used to go yep yeah. there we go so the rack for plates and glasses and what have you and then coming down we've got another cupboard here for some storage ah pull out oh that's nice pull out rack so got our pull out rack there then we've got our thetford gas oven and grill and then we've got some drawer space here these are nice these have changed as well these aren't wood anymore these have got like a white uh finish to them and they are soft clothes and then coming along now this is where we find our thetford tower fridge freezer this is i think about 142 liters runs off gas and electric hookup so let's have a look in there really good size this is my favorite um i've got this in my motorhome i had it in my uh caravan uh, my eyes on zo and it's my favorite loads of room and it never let me down in any in any weathers or in any circumstance and despite being towed fifteen thousand miles my my eyes on zo nothing went wrong so yeah and that thetford was amazing let's move on right wardrobe space here we go on the near side we have got good size wardrobe the alder tank is there and the aerial comes in here as well so that's that space just come under here you find there you've got the um the bulkhead there so there's nothing um no storage there but a little bit under there and those are your water dump valves under there let's go and have a look in this one so we've got a couple of little shelves and they go all the way back so good amount of shelving there and then we come into the bedroom so the isonzo has the transverse island bed i think this bed's about six foot three long it's a good sized bed they don't move they are fixed beds and like many of the uk manufacturers where you can retract the bed you generally can't do that on the adria models however i'll just lift this up so we've got a memory foam mattress you'll see here these ratchets you can sit these up this way so you can sit up in bed and you can see under there i don't know well i don't know if you can but that's the storage under the bed from that big um locker box that we saw outside so on the side of the bed we've got some switches we've got usb point and plug socket 
a nice little shelf area and let's have a look in here oh a little drawer there we go and some storage under there and then above we've got these big lockers to be fair these were always really good um, big storage lockers and that these are quite nice these um, hinges they're quite um, a solid feel to them little lights just under there and we'll just come round so as we come round oh and there's a television point here so you can have television in the bedroom on that wall as we come round you'll see because the bed doesn't retract you compromise is the amount of floor space to walk through so that's just one thing to think about we've got more uh, little storage compartment here and then we do have a sliding door so this door does slide to go into the rear washroom and it's now in the center of the isonzo i'll just step back so on the previous model the door was actually here and now it's uh here in the middle so let's go in and have a look right in the rear washroom we've got the shower cubicle that is a good size shower cubicle it does have a radiator in it from the uh alder system that's that part there uh you can also hang a towel on there as well on that rail you've got the mirror if you wanted to shave in there or see yourself washing your hair but yeah it is a good size shower i used to use mine a lot it's a uh, good size i'll just come over here so on the off side we've got the thetford toilet we've got a toilet brush for cleaning we have got a glazed window so that's good we've got a further mirror there and then coming down in the center so we've got a couple of little lights We've got this good sized mirror and then we've got this sink is the fruit bowl has gone and we've got a proper sink um and a swivel tap that's i think that's probably better i do like that and then we've got storage on both sides under there and we've also got a little bit of storage uh here as well these are these have got quite strong mechanisms to them so you've got to be careful they'll snap your hand off um and i think the other one's down there Oh, and this, oh yeah, cool. So that one look pulls out. That's a sliding tray. So you can put um, toiletries and stuff there. So that, oh, smash, see what I mean? It's a little bit uh, savage. That's your bathroom. Let's spin round and look back down into the bed. So that's the bedroom. And then down the kitchen and the lounge. So Isonzo, it is a massive open plan space. It's very light. You can see the wood, you can see the, the light colours here, the light furnishings. It's light. It's light, it's bright, and it's uh, got that sort of openness feel to it. So there we go. That is the Adria Adora Isonzo. Um, Price-wise, as I say, about £34,000 got plenty of equipment it is a beautiful caravan um very very stylish really um the improvements for me are the finish is much better i do like that and also it's got that bigger payload now as well um and you can take it up to the 1900 to have even more payload so yeah brilliant right i've enjoyed i've enjoyed looking back on an isonzo there um it's still be up there on my list to be honest uh, with alpina so there we go so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.